hello beautiful people i hope you are fine so maybe you are facing an issue that you are not able to run the php file in your node server so i have just created this app and i was facing also this issue that i am not able to run the php files here so i have i got a solution that how we can run this php file actually whenever i just uh, click this button uh, my uh, s underscore top file uh, must run but whenever i just try to run it so it gives me a 404 error so because this is a node.js server and uh, it is not able to run the php files here because uh, most of the time the php files run in apache server uh, so uh, i just got a hack that we have to install a library php express so let's start it we can open it in new window npm install php express it will take a while so i have installed the php server so we just need to add some configuration uh, first of all we need to uh, import it express require and we need to initialize some settings here like we just need to tell them that which files we want to run like uh, exactly we just want php files so we can give the bin path here actually this is not the right bin bin path and we need to keep the php and we need some other configuration here we can add it after the port we have we have to tell them uh, tell to the server that uh, uh, what is the directory here so we are working in the public actually our uh, php files includes in public folder so it will uh, detect the all files from the public We will call it views and we have to pass another ar argument like public and then app dot engine it will be php and php express dot engine and we have to set another path we can give any name we want view and we can give app engine and php as we want to access the all php file include in public folder so we just have to set a regular expression and we just give to the router so that this code will uh, detect all the uh, files which starts with the, which ends on php extension will be detected and uh, will be able to run so these are the settings we just have to add uh, in our server so we will be able to run our php files here so we have added all the configuration now we will start our server again and we run dev it must run on 8080 so we will refresh our code again and so now this file is working because we got 200 and we see so we can see the message hello php is working because i have added a console statement here so this ph this php file is working very fine now i hope you like the video and furthermore i will give you a link so you can install this library also so you will get all the configuration from here so you don't need to type by yourself so you just need to copy and paste and it will work now thank you